in a hot minute please ignore any clutter you see going on I don't have time to clean anything up so I've decided that I want to vlog another day in my life it's been over a year it's literally closer to two years and it is closer to one year of how long it's been since I vlogged a day in the life of a private practice dietitian. This might just end up being like more than just a work vlog, but I enjoy vlogging because I find it as a really great source of accountability when I need to get a task done or when I have, I don't know, something going on and I'm like, I just need to sit down and crank this out. If I have the camera rolling, it feels like someone's watching me and I like it for work accountability. So if anything, this is just for me, but I hope you enjoy it as well. I will say the one thing that is a little bit hard about vlogging is that everything takes just like an ounce more time and it is now like 8 45 and I have a client at nine. So normally I've already eaten breakfast either like before or right after I finish doing my hair and makeup, but yeah, everything just takes like an ounce more time with the camera. I don't know why and it all adds up. But basically, I'm out of yogurt. Normally I have yogurt and sometimes some berries on top with like a nut butter or something. Sometimes Nutella, I did Nutella yesterday and it was so good. But today, because I'm out, I'm just doing a hefty bowl of granola with some granola butter. Very fitting, lots of granola happening. I freaking love granola butter. A girl that I know through Instagram, Ali Bonar, she is the creator of Oat House which is granola butter, and I love them. So if you ever see them, give them a try. It's delicious, not sponsored. <laughs> I think I should have an affiliate code though. I don't know where it is, somewhere in my email. If I find it, I'll link it down below. But anyway, this looks like a really sad breakfast. It's literally all brown. Granola and granola butter, but I'm out of groceries. So it's just a reminder that I need to order groceries today. Quickly before my client, let me give you a quick rundown of my day. Oh, my office my desk is like all turned around because I have this uh, walking treadmill thingy so yesterday I was using that but I need to face this way so let me turn everything around really quickly okay so normally when I sit at my desk I make my little to-do list on my iPad However, because I have 10 minutes before my first client, I am just going to chat with you about what the first half of my day is, and then I'll share a little bit about what is on my to-do list later after my first few clients, because today is actually a busy morning for me. So I usually only have about two to three clients a day because I have group coaching, I have other programs going on. One-to-one -one private coaching is not the primary thing that I do in my business. However, today I have four one-to-one -one clients and three of them are back-to-back -back from nine until noon. So I'm nine, 10, and 11, I have a client. Then I have a two-hour break and have another client at two. I also have a dietetic intern who is shadowing me today and so we usually chat after each session about how it went and so that 15 minutes that I sorry, the 15 minutes that I generally have between sessions will be a little shorter since we will be talking about the case. 
So that's what the first few hours of work looks like for me today. And then the primary task that I need to finish by the end of the week is recording this promo video for my group coaching program that I want to live on my website on the sales page. So that's kind of like an overview of today, but after I get off these client calls, maybe I'll chat with you some more and share what is next, like make my to-do list and things like that. But if 10 minutes, let me, let me eat my breakfast and uh, talk to you later. Put a little jacket on because I was cold. So it's warm outside. It is a little chilly in here. Okay, my client's here. Hi, good to see you. How are you doing today? Let's start with some wins. Tell me about anything positive that you feel like happened over the past week and let's highlight those. Hello, good morning. Done. So actually it's only 11.21. My 11 a.m. client had to reschedule, which is totally fine. So that means that I have quite a few hours until my next client. My next client's not until two. So I have about like two and a half hours now. And so I'm going to go make myself a second cup of coffee and write my to-do list. While I'm drinking my second cup of coffee, I will fill you in on where I've been and what's going on and like where the heck I I am now because I'm very much not in the last place that I vlogged from. So let's tell you all about how I've moved twice in the past year and why. Before I give you all of that tea, oh my gosh, it's so dark in here right now. It's, it's a really cloudy day out. Before I share all of those updates, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about my coffee. So within the past year, I uh, visited my friend Lauren in Philadelphia and she had an espresso and I have never really drank coffee from an espresso. We always just had drip coffee or pour over coffee. Basically life changing. I'm obsessed. It is a expensive obsession, but yeah, I kind of love it. Obviously I have this drawer of all my different espresso flavors and that's actually not even all of them. Down here is my little stash as well with my coffee cups. As you can see in there, I have plenty. The Nespresso also comes with this milk frother, but I don't always use it because the coffee itself gets pretty frothy. I'm currently using this Silk Oat Milk Creamer in oat milk cookie flavor. It's so good, so I normally just pour that in a little bit while it's, while it's going. Look at that frothiness. It makes it so good, you guys. While that's finishing up, I can tell you about one of my updates, which is this girl. She's being a little crackhead right now. That's Maisie, and at the last house that we lived at, which is part of the update, she was kind of brought home by my cat, Marble. Marble made friends with her when she was just a little itty bitty kitten, and yeah, I couldn't help but bring her in. She definitely was slash is feral. I mean, I guess she's not now that she's been with us for a couple months, but she absolutely lost her mind the first time that I got her in the house. Uh, but she's definitely warmed up. She still is Miss Independent Sassy Little Thing, but I love her. She, I'm, I'm so here for it and the cats love her too. Okay, I hope this isn't too much of a silhouette, but I wanna sit here on my couch and the windows are behind me, so is what it is. So let me give you a little update, a little update on what's been going on because clearly I'm not in the last place you saw me. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know a little bit about what's been going on, but okay, last August, so a couple months since my last vlog, my partner Christian bought a house and this was a house to kind of kick off his new passion of sort of like flipping houses, but it was a live-in flip. So, sorry if you hear bells in the background and I'm walking, I have four animals. Anyway, so we moved into that house last August, yeah, basically the beginning of August, and started our journey of flipping a house together. This was a totally workable, livable house. It was three bedrooms, two bath, Nothing was updated, but you know, it just it just needed a little bit of updating. It needed to be a bit more modern and come to life. It has so much potential, and that's what we saw in the house. And it was a very inexpensive house in like this up and coming neighborhood, so we were really excited about it. But we are learning very quickly how stressful it is to live in the property you're flipping 
And at one point we didn't even have countertops or really working appliances. We were like making coffee in the bedroom floor, a renovation that we thought we'd be done with in like six months, taking like a year as it goes. But we've learned a lot that we frequently underestimate the time it takes to do certain projects. And so that has been a whole thing. But about, I don't know how long it's been. Well, let's go back like, I don't know, five months ago. Five months ago, I started thinking about, okay, we're gearing up to finish this house. Are we going to stay here? What are we going to do? We both work from home and we kind of always felt like we were on top of each other. We were not only home 24 seven, uh, around each other 24 seven, but we were also living in a renovation zone 24 seven and it was just becoming incredibly stressful. About six months ago or so, I realized that I was in a financial position to buy a house myself if I'd like. I've been in business for over two years. If you are self-employed, you have to have two years of basically tax statements to show that you have had a continuous income for the past two years that can show that you're more likely to continue making that income so you can buy a house. So I got pre-approved for a loan, met with my realtor and started looking at houses. All in all, I ended up finding this home. I can talk more about how I bought the house if you guys would want in another video. But yeah, I own this house. It's pretty crazy. So we moved in pretty much immediately once I bought this house. Uh, I closed in June. It's awesome because it's renovated, it's updated, it's bigger than the old house was, and there's a nice big backyard. And I love it. I feel a lot happier here. It's a lot brighter. Uh, ceilings are higher. It's just, it feels like a lot more space for two people with four pets um, and who both work from home. Yeah, um, I guess that's like the big update. So the last time you guys saw me in the vlog, I was in an apartment. We moved out of that apartment into the house that Christian bought last August. And now it is August of 2022 and we are in a totally different house. So in the past two years, we have moved twice. Someone is calling me. What do you know? It's my little sister. Holly, she always calls me. I need you to go see the video I just sent you. With Nico. I'm vlogging. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. It is like a running joke in this household that if I'm getting a phone call, it is my little sister Holly because she FaceTimes me like 15 times a day. We talk a lot. But anyways, where was I? I am going to write out my to-do list so I'll kind of share with you uh, what I have in store for the rest of the day. So I got an iPad this year update. I got an iPad uh, and I've been using good notes to do weekly planning. So as you can see, I have like my weekly planner here with my to-do list. I don't think anything on here is particularly private. I have a lot left this week and it's Wednesday already. I did a little bit of like procrastinating earlier this week, which leads me to my point of vlogging holds me more accountable to my tasks, which is why I wanted to start vlogging. Um, I have to record a video promo for my group coaching program. That is like major what I need to do today. And then there's a couple other things on the list, but that's kind of my biggest task outside of my one-to-one -one clients. My last one-to-one -one client is at 2 p.m. and then I need to go pick up Christian at three because his car is in the shop. Um, so I need to go pick him up from the other house that he's working on right now and take him there. Yeah, and then this weekend we're going to Charleston, South Carolina, which I've never been to. We're going there to celebrate our anniversary a little late. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the script for the video. And then if I have time before my one-to-one, -one, I'll record the video. So this is actually my walking treadmill and it's from walking pad and it folds in half so it takes up less space in my office whenever I'm not using it. It's kind of hard to do with one hand here but push that down and now it's set up and this desk is from West Elm. It's the West Elm project desk and so I actually don't need any sort of attachment to raise my desk up because this is like bar height. <sighs> well, I'm out of breath. My vlogging is not going to be like aesthetically pleasing because there will probably always be clutter in the background, always be some sort of empty bowl or empty coffee mug or something because you know, like this, like I left my coffee mug from yesterday sitting there and, and that's just me. So this is like a realistic day in the life of a dietitian in private practice who also has ADHD. So you'll see me forget things a lot, leave things out a lot get turned around a lot. That's life, right? I'm not like some glamorous beauty vlogger. I'm Marissa, <laughs> so. Okay, I finished 
writing and editing the script, but I'm not going to record yet because I sent it off to my marketing strategist for her to review and make sure that it all looks good for marketing purposes. You know, this is my personality, but she's gonna be better at knowing if like the language gets across to make sense to others. So that's why I love having her. Also, I'm pretty sure the last time I vlogged, I didn't even have a virtual assistant yet. I mentioned wanting a virtual assistant and now I literally have four employees crazy. So technically three of them are contractors and then one of them is an actual W2 employed dietitian on my team. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Um, I have a social media manager. I have a virtual assistant slash project manager, a marketing strategist, and a registered dietitian. My registered dietitian, Morgan, she's basically running my behind the binge page now. So if you want to get to know her, I'll link that down below. And she's wonderful. She takes private coaching clients, but she goes on maternity leave in like four days. So she's not currently taking private coaching clients, but once she gets back, then she will be open for private coaching clients again. So that's really fun. She's been a great help. Love having her on my team and just having another person to reach more people. So I collaborate a lot with my team now. I freaking love having a team. It just it feels like everyone's really aligned with the business's values and has the same goals in mind and they're all very supportive and lovely. And so it's just so nice. It's also like such girl power, like being surrounded by such strong, independent business owners and women. Like, I freaking, I freaking love it. Anyways, uh, since I have about an hour and 15 minutes until, yes, Maisie, do you hear her? Yes, Miss Thing, I call her Miss Thing. This is Maisie back here in Milo. If you have been watching me for a while, you know Milo, because I've had him for like five years or something. Hey, Maisie, you're such a pretty girl. She's got the fluffiest tail. Look at that tail. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to check in the client, I'm going to check on my client messages, and then I'm going to check in and review my client's journals. Then I'm going to take a quick lunch break. I don't know if these videos are going to be boring. I enjoy watching them. Half the time I just listen to people's vlogs, so maybe that's what you're doing. But, you know, work vlogging is hard because so much of my work is just like silent, like me working on my computer or talking with the client. So mostly just going to be sharing like what I'm writing on my to-do list or what I'm going to be doing before I do it. Uh, and then I'll share a little bit of my, my personal life too. The more fun things like decorating my house or buying something fun at a thrift store. Most of what I do is just home decor shopping. So that's why those are the first two things I thought of. Or maybe baking or cooking. Been into baking recently. Lazy baking, like getting a mix of like muffins and making it that's not like from scratch fully. But that has been fun. I did make banana bread chocolate chip muffins last night. So we have some of those. I'll have as a snack here in a little bit. Here are the muffins that I made last night. They are like banana bread chocolate chip, essentially. Ooh. Mm, so good. So I made it from this pack. Um, this brand, Go Nana. So it's essentially like you just have like bananas and like some milk and oil. And that's it. So like they're vegan and stuff. Not vegan or anything, but so good. I just had like a craving for something sweet last night. And, like I didn't really want ice cream and I remembered I had this. It was perfect. Oh, while I'm having this, I should totally record a reel. So this is the reality of my job is like anytime I'm eating something, especially if it's a food that would be like someone's food rule or feel like off limits in diet culture, I feel like I have to record myself eating it for like a reel or take a picture of it for a post or something because I need the content. So I think I need to record myself eating it and then I will do my client check-ins. I'm gonna set up my camera here and then I'm going to stand here and just eat it. All right, that is literally just like a minute, minute and a half of me just like eating this muffin. <laughs> That is the reality of making Instagram reels, you guys. If you ever see like B-roll footage of me eating something with a voiceover and it's all cute and inspirational, in reality it is dead silent and I just stand at my counter and like eat a freaking muffin. <laughs> okay, it's been 15 minutes of doing client check-ins, looking at their journals, messaging them back. And now I have like 50 minutes until my client. All 
right, I just took a break on the couch watching TikToks for like 30 minutes. Now it's 1.40, I have my client here in 20 minutes. And so I'm eating these quick leftovers. This isn't very much though, but it's all we had left. Um, I also recorded a TikTok. I just stitched someone else's video and a reel with this. So if I have that reel edited, maybe I'll insert it here. Um, but yeah, gonna eat my lunch and then I have my client and then I'll fill you in with what I do next. Just a day in the life of me. So I finished my client call and I have been setting up to record this video, but I cannot find the right cord for my microphone. So this is the microphone I use on my camera and this is the plug that I use when I plug it into my computer, but the same cord doesn't work for the camera. There's two different cords and I have the other cord, but I can't find it. It's not giving me any audio like lines. The thing is, I just can't, oh wait, I think I might know where that cord is. I think I have the cord. Okay, I don't know if you can still hear me. I totally forgot I had this like organizer of electronic things and I think this is the right cord for my microphone. So the way I'll know it works is if those lines move and they're not moving. Oh, wait, they are moving. It like seems like it's working. Okay, I figured it out. It just wasn't plugged in all the way. So now that it's plugged in all the way, I see the audio waves moving, which means it works. But this lighting sucks. So I need to figure that out. I really like this corner here for this video, but I'm thinking it's not gonna work. I'm thinking I need to move to where the light from the window is facing me. This is a whole mess, you guys. Okay. No, because the freaking, the like, the window is right behind me. Look at that, that doesn't, there's like a window behind me. Ugh, I have not figured out, like I haven't figured out in my new office space like where the right spot is for like any, any type of recording because I haven't been recording um, in this room yet, so. Starting to think that I set it up wrong because there's no good lighting for recording. There's just good lighting for taking clients. Which like, I guess I could record the video right there, but just then there's not gonna be anything behind me. Let's figure this out because I need to go pick up Christian. Okay, so I got it all set up, but what I need to do now is take the script and copy and paste it to my phone and then put it in this app that I have for my teleprompter. Why do I as a dietitian have like a whole ass setup? Well, because I used to be interested in film. I was an actress. I went to film high school for one year. And um, yeah, I love filmmaking. Uh, and so whenever I want to make a video, whether it's just for YouTube or for a promo video for my programs, I want to go all out. I don't do it as often as I used to, but I still really enjoy doing it whenever I do have the opportunity to. So I essentially like set, you see that? I set my phone into this thing, which I need two hands for. Do that and my camera lens is through this. It's like a mirror. So like I'm still fully visible, even though my words are going to be reflected right there. Isn't that cool? I'll link below what I use. I also put my little logo on my iPad in the background. It's so cute. So it is actually the following week. I have vlogged a couple days since this vlog, but I really thought this vlog was going to not be long enough to be a one day vlog. Clearly I had way too much to say in this vlog. So we will just end it here and I will edit the next day as its own video, even if it's short. Thank you all so much for watching my first vlog back. I have no guarantees for how often I'm going to vlog or what I'm gonna vlog or what I'm gonna share. But I just, I really enjoy this, so I'm doing this for me and hopefully it benefits some of you along the way as well because I really enjoy watching other people's vlogs. Here I go rambling again. One thing I need to get down is not talking so much in vlogs because this is not the place for me to go on and on and on because then it makes it super long. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe if you aren't already. Hit the like button, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.